Hello everybody, welcome to Cooking with Vince. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to the channel, it would be highly appreciated. Today we're going to the region of Sorrento, Italy, and we're making gnocchi alla sorrentina, which is potato gnocchis with fior di latte cheese and buffalo mozzarella on top, and it's uh, baked in a cast iron skillet in the oven to melt the cheese. You're going to love this dish, I promise, and I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to start in introducing our ingredients today. This is for about a pound of gnocchis. So we're doing about 10 gold potatoes. We're doing um, two of these passadas. We're doing uh, a half a pound or 250 grams of fior di latte cheese and 250 grams of buffalo mozzarella. We're doing one onion chopped, two celery stalks, one carrot, and about three cloves of garlic. And then over here, we have about uh, 500 grams of flour, and this is double zero flour for making pasta or pizza. And then I have about two eggs, well, three eggs. We're probably only gonna need two, but I have an extra one on standby. And then we have some extra virgin olive oil and some salt and pepper. Okay, so our first step is to wash our potatoes. And all we really need is a, a quick rinse here. It's really all we need. Just to get some of the extra um, pesticides off. Okay, our next step is to cut our potatoes. And the reason we're cutting the potatoes is because it... Uh, they boil a little bit quicker. It could take a long time to boil potatoes. And we don't want to be here all day. So we're going to just chop these up. Just roughly chop them. Uh, you don't have to chop them up too, too finely. Maybe just quarter them like so. And you could leave the skin on or you could take the skin off. It really doesn't matter. Uh, it just all depends on what you're going for. Me. I'm not too concerned with the skin. And these are our potatoes once they're chopped. All right, once our water's boiling, we're just gonna put a tablespoon of rock salt. So now that our water's boiling, we're just gonna come in with our potatoes. Go. And those should take about, I would say, about 10 minutes to boil. Uh, now, you want the potatoes to be soft enough to actually break up an eraser or with a, a fork. Uh, you got to make sure that your potatoes are soft enough because if they're not, it's going to be really tough to actually um, uh, break them up in the ricer or with a fork. Next step, once our uh, potatoes are cooked, which it should only take about 10 minutes to cook these, we're just going to strain them into our water. Or strain them in, uh, strain the water out. Potatoes into the strainer. All right, so we're going to just put our potatoes back into our bowl. And we're just going to let them cool for a little bit because they're obviously really hot. So this is exactly how you want your potatoes. See, I'm just putting my, fink, my, my fork through. It just goes right through them. We're still waiting for our potatoes to cool. Okay, that's, that looks good. We'll start dancing maybe a little bit. Yeah. So it'll probably still be a little bit of time before you can start making your gnocchi just uh, so you don't burn your hands. But we're going to start putting them through the ricer here. And we're just going to start breaking them up. See, it's going right through this ricer here. And we're going to do that for all of our potatoes. Step 
is to start making our gnocchi. So what I did is I formed a little well in the potatoes here. And I am just going to crack a couple eggs. And then I am going to feed these eggs into the well. And I am just going to beat this up a little bit. And then slowly but surely, I'm going to start feeding some potato in here. Just like whenever you're making any kind of flour-based pasta uh, that isn't semolina, you just slowly start putting our potatoes in. And we're just going to start sprinkling just a little bit of flour in here. Now we're going to use all this flour, but until we don't want to lose any of our egg either, but we're just going to slowly start folding. You're going to slowly do this, and this is the folding technique that I'm using here. A little bit more flour. Slowly, just continuing to add my flour here. So just to like soak up some of this extra flour, I am actually going to use just one extra egg. All right. So see how it's starting to come together? There's less and less flour all over the place. And I'm just using this tool here just to kind of come in and clean up the cutting board. Uh, once uh, we get our flour into a nice ball, and I did continuously add more flour because my consistency was a little too soft. Um, we're going to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes, and then once we do that, we may add a little extra flour and then start cutting it, and uh, we, can do, we can start molding our gnocchis. All right, now we're actually going to uh, blend our sofrito. So we got our carrots, our onions, and our celery in our food processor and we're going to come in with a good bit of paisano extra virgin olive oil and this is what it should look like we're going to start with four to five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then we're gonna we're gonna crush our garlic. We got about three cloves of garlic. And what we're gonna do, just so our garlic doesn't burn, we're gonna come in with just a little bit of water. It's a splash of water, that's all. All right, so once we start cooking our garlic, we're gonna come in with our sofrito. Let that cook for a few few minutes. So we're just letting our sofrito cook here. All right, so once the, the sofrito has been cooking, we're going to come in with our pasada. We're going to come in with about two of these and we're going to clean the bottle. We're going to do the bottle cleaning trick. We don't want any waste. Yeah. 
And as we're cooking this, we're going to add just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. It's going to be about 30 minutes to cook. Okay, so now we're ready to start rolling our gnocchi. So we're just going to cut a little piece here like so. See how that cuts? It's the way it should look. And we're just going to come in and start rolling and rolling. And if it's too big, just remember you could always uh, make it smaller. But it should be coming out like these long snakes here. All right, so now we're just gonna break up our basil because remember, you don't wanna cut your basil. You, you lose it in the chopping board if you do that. So see as I'm breaking this up. Uh, what we're doing here is we're making enough for me and Vince. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to add more tomatoes. Tomatoes to this because we have a lot of knockies, as you can see. So we want to make sure we have enough sauce. Okay, go ahead. All right, so we're gonna put our knockies into our water, our boiling water. This is taking about three minutes or so. So we're just stirring it up so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And once they come to the surface, that's when they're done. It takes three minutes. This is plenty of sauce. All right, we're just finishing up our knockies here in the sauce. Delicious. Okay, so now we're ready to start plating our gnocchi sorrentina. So we're going to just start coming in here and layering this. And now if you have extra, you could always freeze it. We're gonna get a good bit of this here. And then we're almost gonna layer this almost like a lasagna or like a pasta al forno, where we have some buffalo mozzarella and then we got some our fior di latte. So we're just gonna come in, start breaking up our cheese. And then we're gonna come in with another layer. This cheese is just gonna mix in here. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Uh, 
Okay, so now we're gonna come in with some more of our Fior di Latte on top. More of our Buffalo Mozzarella. Okay, now we're ready to bake this in the oven and we're just gonna melt the cheese. That's all we really want here. Now this only takes like about five minutes and when it's, when it's done, this is exactly how it should look. And it looks fantastic. We're ready to start plating. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna plate our gnocchi here. That's enough for me. What? What's the matter, you? <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep.